guys it's wesley show you the grand slam it's 32 by 80 four bedroom three full bath we've changed up the outside and how we used to get it kind of give it a little uh, break up on it it's got some board and bat vinyl on the front little eyebrow there under that dormer it's hard for me to say this i have a favorite house we got so many i've seen so many this was definitely in my top 10. It's built by Capper from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Come into the first living room. So we've got two living areas. Got a lot of different colors you can pick from. This has got gel rock, ranch style. It's called a bunch of different things. What it is, it's a sheetrock. A sheetrock run sideways with a it's gonna have a seam in the middle there and it's just covered up with that chair rail your corners are gonna have some trim in it like that and in this home it's everywhere like your live your two living rooms is where it's got it your bedrooms is really is gonna be a board and bat this one's got cabinets hallway the ceiling that's one of my favorite things to see in a home is the cabinets hallway the ceiling uh, i'm sure there's some homes i'd like with the other but it just gives you storage all the way at the top. There's no place dust is settling. This has got a really big bar. It's got a lot of plugs in it. It's got a tile backsplash. You got a roll countertop in this one. A little aisle in there. Comes with a stove, dishwasher, refrigerator. This one's got the space saver microwave. So it's a vent hood and a microwave above the stove there a lot of countertop space i can't seem to ever get enough countertop space in my personal house enough plugs this one's got it farmhouse sink it's got the apron on the front deep sink removable front on the faucet there three panel lights hanging down there let's get fans in both living areas Dining area right here, and it's got a little china hutch. I call it a china hutch. It's really just a lot of storage. Cabinets all the way down there, and cabinets here. That's two, four, six, eight. That's eight cabinets, and eight cabinets below. This one's got the wood burning fireplace in it. Got a sliding patio door, so you can build a porch back there. Off the second living area, dining area. Wood burning fireplace. They got this fireplace, a stone one, and they have a wood front or a wood mantle. Look. So in between these two bedrooms here is a bedroom there and a bedroom there. So Jack and Jill. Look at it. So it's Jack and Jill bath. It's got double sinks. It's got Shower tub combo. Then you have cabinets over here for towels and stuff, drawers and stuff below the sink, toilet, and the cabinets above it. So it leads over to this other guest bedroom. Back to the living area here. Last guest bedroom, probably the best bedroom in the home. It's got all our trim out material in it. Best closet for sure, the guest bedrooms. Then your third full bath. This bathroom's off the living area right here. All one piece fiberglass insert in this one. Cabinets, trimmed out mirrors. We'll get back here to this laundry room. Place for washer dryer. And over here, it's got a big spot for put freezer, stand-up freezer, chest freezer. Definitely got room for chest freezer. It's got a little nook right there where you put some uh, shelving. And I think you still get a sink right there. I think you still get that done. And you don't have to get carpet in the home, just like most homes. You can get the vinyl all the way through. When you have vinyl, there's going to be a transition piece from side to side. That's why a lot of people do carpets, they don't want to see the transition piece. To me, it really doesn't bother me. Missed this little area in the kitchen. Covered again, it's just a, a like wet, not a wet bar, but a place to put coffee makers. Guess you could really turn it into a pantry. Get 
you have a lot of countertop space. Now, here it's got the countertop space here, then it's got a place where you put bar stools on the other side. Got that two step island or two step bar. Let's put bar stools. Master bedroom. Video really doesn't do the room much justice. Good size room. Master bath. There's three different baths in this home or three different bath ways to do it. Uh, this one's got the tile shower in it. Shower head there. Looks like some water comes out here. Room of one. A glass piece right there. Double sinks. Extra drawers there. Trimmed out mirrors, some cubby holes. Separate tub. Then you have a closed off toilet room here. Big closet. This one probably is the better setup of the two. It's got a big closet. It's got these cabinets here in it. Wow, oh, they're pretty deep cabinets there. They're, like I said, there's three different setups. They've got one that has two closets and a tub, but this is the only one I know of that gets the tile shower in it. Again, this is the Grand Slam. It's model 9906. It's built by Capper in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching. If you've got any comments or any suggestions, want to see a different home, want to know about some different colors in it, leave, leave it in the comments. I'll try to get to you. I'll leave you a link if it's colored or something. Thanks again.